Hi everyone and welcome to how to program your now robot with Python tutorial video number one. On this week's tutorial we're looking into the first basic steps of how to use Python to program your robot. So if you want to learn the first steps of being a programming robot genius then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from RoboFill.com. Now on this video, we're looking to teach you to how to begin programming your now with Python. The now can be programmed using several programming languages, including C++, MATLAB, Java, LabVIEW, and Python. So instead of using the drag and drop box system in Core Graph, we are now gonna get our now robot to do some speech using coding. Right, hi guys, and today we are looking at how to do some Python coding. So we're going to get our now robot to speak using Python. So the way we do this, jumping straight into it, uh, first of all, we always check our now. So let me just lift up his arm, make sure he's connected. Yeah, there we go, he's connected, that's what we want. Obviously uh, in the main uh, robot section as well, he's all connected. So, Python. So what we want to do is we first want to create a uh, box that we can put our Python code into. So if I go to, if I right click uh, the main uh, section box and go add new box, here we have the feature of where we can add boxes. So in here we are going to create a name. So we're going to call this um, now robot saying uh, say box, say that. So in the general description, obviously write what it is. Um, for a more detailed description, so this box will make our robots uh, speak in, uh, speak, uh, hello. Hello, I am a robot, let's say that. Hello, I am a robot. There we go. Now, what we can do is obviously at the moment it's got a sort of Python, uh, well, it's got a little triangle with image on there at the moment. Now you can start to input your own images. I'll probably do another tutorial where I'll show you how, how, how to make a um, new image. But for this one, we'll just browse the list. So Gorograph comes with a whole list of um, different pictures that you can use. So as you can see, um, now I believe there is a say one in the interaction section. And let's have a look. So you can use that one, that's what we're doing, but oh, that's a bit boring. So let's just use something different you wouldn't normally see. So let's see, use ball, that'll do. No particular reason why, just because I want to show you how to um, change the images in here. So okay, that, as you can see, that is the now the main image. Now if we go down to type, it, it, ignore the input and output. So we come down to type, and before, depending on what way, uh, which way you're viewing my tutorials, uh, I've shown you the, the timeline and the flow diagram. So this time we're having a look at script. So we go into the scripts and we'll click OK. And there we have our now little box. Now, if we click into it, ta -da, we have the Python code. So this is, this is where we're gonna change. Oh, you can see it sort of popped up there. So obviously one of the features of uh, Choreograph is that it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be separate, it can be in its own little box. I do actually want this separate, which is quite annoying. There we go. So just drag it out so it's separate, just so I can show you what's going on. But yeah, if, if you pick it up and ho hover over a particular part of the um, uh, of, of the Choreograph windows, it will just pop in there so you can have a bit more space And if you're using the main panel. So what we're going to do is we are going to change some of the code so we're going to get our robot to speak. And the piece of code that we want to have a look at is this one here. So this def on input at on start self. So th th this is the one that we need to alter to actually get our robot to speak. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out this pass section here. And we're simply going to type in TTS proxy equals alt proxy and then we're going to, uh, just bear with me guys while I type this all in. Alt text to speech. Make sure you get the colons in there. And underneath that, so we're going to put TTS proxy.say. And this is where we're going to add our comments in there. So we're going to say hello. I am a robot. 
And we're going to put a little expression mark at the end and I'm going to say it. Right, so there we have, I'll just type that in there. It's a very easy basic tutorial to start with. Um, the, the first line cr creates an object uh, that gives us access to the robot's text-to-speech capabilities. Uh, this object is assigned to the variable TTS proxy. We can access the object later through the name TTS proxy. So the top line here, which I'm talking about, obviously the alt speech is there. The second line calls a different function say, dot say there, Belong, belonging to the object we just created. This function takes an argument, hello, I am a robot, and then it uses a string or sequence of characters noted the double quoted marks. The robot will speak the string that will pass to the say method allowed. So obviously this is what we want to get a robot to say down the bottom. So very, very simple, first sort of steps into Python and Choreograph. Now, if we click out of this, it's in there. If we connect up to our robot as per normal, boop, uh, we haven't got to have the motors on because we're just speaking here and it should pop up here as well. So then if we hit play. Hello, I am a robot. So there we go, perfectly. Works in, I'll hit it again. Hello, I am a robot. So again, if you want to go a bit, uh, back in here and, and change it, you can extend it out here. I'm a robot called Philip. And, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then we'll come out again. Hello, I am a robot called Philip. There we go. So obviously instead of dragging in the normal say boxes and typing into there and having sort of lots of other boxes in there, you can just have simply have one box. And this is what uh, the, the programming in Python is all about. Instead of having lots of drag drag boxes in there, you just have one box that has all the code you need. So, it's, and it, so it makes things tidy and neater and obviously it makes the robot work a little, little bit faster as well. Brilliant, that's it guys. Thanks very much. Well done guys, you can now get your now robot to talk by using your Python programming skills. Now have a play with this behaviour to see if you can get your now to say a longer sentence or maybe even sing a song. Have a play guys and use your imagination. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information then please visit us at robofill.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put related links to these videos as well as other information about the Now Robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.